TV, you alright? My name's Scarpy. Um, I perform under the name Scarpy, the uplifter acoustically as well, but I play the band called The Spreggs. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for asking me to come along to my own house and do this for you. And yeah, big thanks to Dick, nice old man, for getting me to this point and everything. Much appreciated, dude. And yeah, I'm really happy to be a part of it. Um, yeah, so you join me by the fireside here, the real, genuine fireside, um, to talk about art uh, and the art that I do a little bit, which I find quite difficult to do. Um, so I'm not, I kind of don't consider myself an artist in a weird way, not in a negative way, but just in a, I think in the sense that anything I've ever done artistically or musically, I've kind of got a bit of a go through the back way to get it kind of method, if you know what I mean. I've never really trained as an artist. I do have a love for what I do. I think, I guess I came, I've always kind of had a bit of an appreciation of graffiti through a couple of friends that I know. That, I think that was probably the main thing that set me into getting really excited about making art itself. Over the last couple of years, it started um, tying in weirdly. I didn't really expect to do a bit of logo and poster design for people. We've got the, got to show the Green Punk Bravo, recent one just hot off the press um, from the Rockaway, which I was quite happy about being a part of. Got to show the Green Punk Barbers. Did a couple for a Love Music Hate Racism campaign in, um, for one of my friends in Belgium and picked up a bit of work, doing a few logos and stickers here and there for people, which has really been quite nice. It's been a great outlet being in the scene we share and being able to do a lot of gigs in there, uh, lovely little crusty festivals everywhere and everything, and there's a wonderful little um, community of different people to ask advice in that sort of area and different people's influences and stuff to borrow on and bring them together and get them out there and, and um, sort of even like be able to sell them and put them out there to people as well, which was something I never ever would have thought I would have been able to do in the past. But yeah, I think that was a nice, quite an accepting bunch of people to get stuff across to. Probably about eight years ago, I, was, I needed to make a um, birthday present for my dad and I'd been looking at a few canvases and I thought I'd have a go and see if I could pull one off. I made him a bit of like a Rude Boy canvas for his birthday, which turned out really well. Um, so a bit better than I expected it to turn out. Yeah, I decided to make another and then a couple of more birthdays came up for him and then I was like, I'm going to do another stencil canvas. Another good medium as well for just not having to specifically stay on the canvas, obviously it's graffiti on art and um, graffiti art on trains and walls and sort of everywhere around about, but I've also been getting into doing a few like amp cab modifications, like my own guitar, getting anything basically, anything that can be spray painted or sort of modified in a way. It feels, yeah, it feels good to be in a position to be able to do that. But I find it quite freeing as well and quite meditative. And meditative that was with five T's. The process that I go through is quite, um, if things are quite fine detailed, it can end up being quite sort of a laborious, quite a long process, locked away at home and stuff. But with the right music, allows me to completely switch off and just engross myself in that. Having the vision of what something could be or having an idea, it doesn't really matter if I don't know how to pull it off. I'll just kind of find a way or just do it my own way and see what I can come up with. In the end, me doing that became my correct way. Um, like embracing the mistakes and embracing the messy ways that it went wrong sometimes. Use a technique which probably much more laborious. There'd probably be an easier way. If you I kind of like that. Great art form as well, used for like embracing mess and drips and being dead free. But for someone like me who's not very good at drawing, gives me that um, like precision through the stencils to be able to like communicate my ideas across a bit better. I suppose if I had any advice for anyone who felt like they also went like trained as an artist or didn't know about depth and shadow and all these different things is just go for it, just go for it and keep doing it. And even if you find that it's a bit challenging at times or you're not sure, just stick with it and keep trying.
I love to offer an art swap wherever possible. It's been a really lovely way of getting art across through uh, like presents and swaps and just doing them for people who you know might need a bit of a fair cup and stuff like that. If you ever want to get in touch or get yourself a commission or get your amp pimped up or your guitar case or like stick it for your band or anything like that then yeah get in touch and I'll be happy to help. Uh, and thank you very much for giving me a bit of your time today if you're still watching. <laughs> so yeah, nice one. Thank you very much Blurg. See you in a bit.